This game is like super casual Stardew meets Fall Guys. It's a really silly physics-based farm sim, and I had a lot of fun checking out the demo. This is Southfield. It can be played solo or with friends, but I'm just solo today because I ain't got none. So please do hit the like and subscribe so you can be mine and I will be yours, and let's jump into the game. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more cozy gaming playthroughs and previews, and let's begin. All right, here we are in Southfield. Let's take a look. At this game. I've met, I feel. Hey, oh, have met before? Oh, I wouldn't know anyway. I can barely oh, see through these brows. Yeah. Wow. We've got plenty of strange folk here on island. I've never seen someone like you before. Oh, oh. Call me Grumps. I'm what you might call a farmer. And I can always use an extra set of hands if you're up for learning. Very, yeah. You look all wobbly and fun, but remember, farming takes patience and a nurturing mm. touch. Oh. I could be wrong, but it looks like you don't have any tools. Oh thought so. How are you going to farm without okay. tools? I'll tell you what, I'll show you the ropes and get mm. you started. Try using this hoe. A hoe. Equip the hoe. Okay. We can have a farm. Nice. Yeah. How much do you want me to do? Ah, return to Grumps. You really showed that dirt a thing or two. Here's some seeds and a watering can. Plant held seeds in soil. Use R2 to spray with the watering can. Use L2 to refill. Seeds won't grow without water. So we have seeds. Wait. Aha. How many did you give me? Nine. Okay. Perfect. I didn't even see how many I was supposed to do, but instinctively this is just how many... This is how you do a farm, right? It's like... Anyone who's played Stardew, you're like, oh, do nine by nine. No, sorry, three by three. Right? Which becomes a nine. Tile. <laughs> Maths. Okay, so then water. Oh. Slow down. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's. That is. One way to do it. Is that. Good. Good job, buddy. I'm watering. I'm watering. I'm helping. Yeah, you. Sure are. Fill that up. There you go. <laughs> the most chaotic watering I've ever seen in a farming game. Looks okay to me, and it should only get easier. Time to get hands on. Grab them and pull. The crops are grown. Get a good grip and pull them out. Square. You can also use L2 and R2 to slap crops. Why are we slapping? Uh, pocketing items. Uh, select for inventory. Okay, so I can now yoink these. I mean, how do I... Apparently I can slap them. Let's try that, shall we? How do I just go to my hands to slap? No. I just want to slap. Can't get to nothing. Anyway. Pull! And then put it in my pocket. Eh. 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 Now I can sell. Now I can give it a little slap. Hang on. Ah, uh, bite your tongue. There we go. Please out. Okay. I like this. It's fun. Everything's so wobbly and like fun. Just like cute and bouncy vibes. I like that. This is annoying me. Can I get rid of this? I didn't want this to exist. Can we make it grass again? With... Eh. Please, go back to... Ah, ah, I did it. Nice. I've taught you the basics. You'll be a budding farmer in no time. Now that you know about farming, I should teach you about gathering. Trees, rocks, mineral deposits, and even crops. 
They grow right out of the ground. No one stops you. I mean, it's free. Take this, I can pick axe and pickaxe. I can pickaxe. Second hand tools, but faster at trees and rocks. Alright. Okay. Cut wood, mine stone. Charge together. Okay, we've got some new tools. So, am I allowed to leave yet? Not yet. But I, why would I want to cut down the trees that are on my land? I'm guessing this is my house. And, oh, bit of a slowdown. And, um, you know, it's nice to have trees around. I'll cut this one that's in the back corner. Wait. Choppy, chop, chop, chop. We love to chop some trees. I hope there isn't a nest up here filled with bees to fall onto my head while I chop a tree. Um, getting some slowdown, definitely, but I'm playing this before the demo is actually out, so I'm sure there's optimization to come. Not that we should expect demos to be super optimized anyway, as it is an early slice, right? It has been freezing up every so often. Alright, grab those. Just so you know, it's not your video, it's actually happening on the screen. Uh, what do you want? Ten logs and ten stone. So, I need one more log, unfortunately. Hmm. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get chopped? Let's do this one. Kind of in the way there, isn't it? Charged. Tree. Me. Take that little log. Um. Rid of the stump. Okay. You should know every night that big rock glows and trees and rocks and wild crops start popping back up. Ah, okay, so they just come back the next day. No idea why, but I'm not going to ask questions. Maybe that Dusk fella might know a thing or two. Anyways, you've got raw materials for structures. Fix up the old barn. Okay. Enter and exit build mode. Choose the material. Place a structure with R2, L2 to remove it. Change structures. Variance with square. Build two walls. Whoa. Into build mode. Straight wall. Okay. Simple as that. Do a little bit extra, because why not? Then we've got flat floors, ramps, straight roofs, fences, and pillars. What about a window? If I've got a straight wall here... Wait, why can't I... Hmm? What am I doing? Ah, I'm picking what material I want to make with, I think. Right? Is that like I'm choosing what's filled? So if I'm like, is that how? Oh, okay. So I can almost like design my own little doorway or structure there. I see. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, uh, how do I get out of here? There we go. I should take care of the draft I was feeling in there. Pretty sure I'm supposed to say thank you. So th oh, this is your house? Oh, I thought I lived here. The sun always goes down eventually. I've got stuff to do. It'll be your last lesson. Machines aren't my bag, but Gizmo won't stop yammering on about them. There's one I like. It's a seed maker. Turns crops into seeds. It's not too hard to use. Pop it down. Okay. So we've got machines too. Add a machine to your hotbar and equip it. Place it. Use the axe or the machine to break it and pick it up. Drop crops to make seeds. Oh, it's big, isn't it? It's a bit big. Seed maker. So, um, can I rotate it? I've got throw, drop, put away. Don't know if there is a rotate. Hmm. Well... Pop it here for now. Chuck that in. Wait, R1. Wait, wait, no. Hang on. You, R1, in, go. Okay. 
Wow, look how pretty the stars are. I love a starry sky. My favorite. Hmm. One last thing for you, the shipping bin. These things are weird. You stick crops in and pebbles come out. Oh, I don't know. So this is like your end of the day stardew shipping it out bin. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh no, come here. Place short and ship three items. So we, what, how do we? How? Do we just throw it in? Wow, that is so many stars. Oh, there we go. Eh. Wow. Look at the moon. That'll do it. Well, that's all I got for you. Plenty of other folk worth talking to. That dusk is a shady one, but they're all camped just south of here. Maybe go and say hello. A scythe and some pebbles. Thanks. Hello again. How are the fields? What quest have you got? Can you help me get hold of a couple of things? Always good to have another pair of hands. Uh, there's a note asking for a few items that can be tricky to get. Helpful to check the almanac. A flop fig. A flop fig. Guess whilst I'm here, I'll plant these seeds. How does this... What's this made? So I put those in there. Were those maybe the seeds I had? Like, where do they come out? I don't know. So now I can go outside into the big wide world. I can flop all over the place. Got a row of machines here. Are these like loot? Or storage? Or... Slap it. <laughs> when in doubt, slap, apparently. What is it? Pocket. Oh, this one. Whoa. Okay. There's got to be a better way to pick things up. I have to pick them up individually and put them in my pocket every time. Conveyor belts. Oh my gosh. Is this like. Can you do fully automated stuff. Games like that scare me. My brain can't handle that. I'm too dumb for automation. Like any automation game people have told me over the years like, oh, this game's amazing. You should play this. I have a car. What was that? Something just blew up. Now what's happening? Hello? What was that? Like a storm. <gasps> I can just drive. That's cool. But yeah, I don't get automation. It makes my head hurt. I think it's when the map's loading in. There's a little bit of slow until it is. Oh, that's so cool. I'm pretty sure this is a multiplayer game. Um, I can see how this already would be so fun just to run around in with your friends, right? If you've got any. That would be cute. Just driving around on these. Or nearly hit that chicken or whatever it is. Can I actually? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let me uh, hop off. You are a chicken. What are you? Oh, a bush. <laughs> Come here. Uh, oh! Um. Spanked to death. I don't get any loot from it, though. Oh. 
Right, visit dusk. Is it? Ah, maybe it's this bright beam of light that's going up into the sky is telling me where I'm supposed to be, you think? Oh, quite a noir vibe. <clears throat> Footprints uncovered, stones unturned, tables also unturned. It's also curious. A life lived without questions is a life lived without answers. Without the only answer that matters. I love that it started to rain whilst, whilst we're in a noir mood. Of course, the only answer that matters begs for the only question worth asking. Why are we here? Care to help ask that question, friend? Call me Dusk, the rest of them do, and it suits me just fine. You need some answers? I got a case for you. It'll be messy, and it's likely going to change everything. I'll be honest, I'm not sure where this one starts or ends, but I'm getting ahead of myself. True detective. You're going to need to know about this island and the bubs who live here. Can you do the rounds? Swell. Let's keep asking questions. Ah, talk to all the locals. Okay. And then what's this? Like a quest board? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Can I sit? Can I get warm? Okay. Well, it looks like some of these are pretty far, so it's a good thing I got a car. That rhymed. Let's go. So I'm expecting a bit of slow down here. What's this uh, glowing ghost thing? Hello? You're like, oh! Um. I'm. <laughs> I can't. Okay. What was that? I feel like I got attacked by a hot dog. Ooh, uh. The Mushroom Kingdom. It's cute. I like the vibe, man. Like, just these big mushrooms. Everything's so bulbous. Uh, let's go see this person first. I can get through here. It's with these glowies. Oh. Sort of expected to bounce over that for some reason. Let me find a way through. Of course we can. There we go. Hello. Hey, hello, my name's Mattarelli. I always like making new friends. Hello. I already said that, didn't I? I just mean to say hi. Oh gosh, I'll move on to some things about me. I like building. There's something about having an idea in my head and starting small, then eventually, whoa, it's a great big building. Or it's not, it's just a small cabin. That would suit me, I think, but maybe it won't one day. You can just change your mind. Building's expressive and wonderful. It can be anything you want it to be, and that's really nice. So, I wonder what you would build. I wonder what everyone would build. Can I help? I could do with some help. Help me find some things. Ten strawblies. I love that they're called strawblies. I want a strawbler. I want a strawblers and creme. Okay, so you're like the builder person. <gasps> what is that big ring? Is that like a rainbow of this world? Or is that always there? It looks like cute. Let's go avoid that hot dog and then get, see if we can get to the next person. Ba, ba, ba. I like the... Oh, crashed pretty badly there. I like the music a lot. It's um, really nice. It's helping immerse and set the vibe for sure. This feels like I've gone the wrong way, doesn't it? I actually really like how this car handles. It's like a different biome. We got some like ghost ghost chickens in a cemetery. Are these the chickens that I like spanked earlier? Is that why there's ghosts here? I wonder if these would have been here if I didn't do that. Oh. <laughs> they froze me. Maybe they're frozen chickens. It is a look, there's a rainbow. 
Wow. Ah, take my picture. Ah, thanks. Cheese. He didn't say say cheese. Is this gonna be like a spooky person? A ghost or something? Long time no see. By that I mean eternity, of course, because I've never seen you before. I know what you're thinking, and yes, my sleeves are big and magnificent. That's why everybody calls me Big Sleeves. But you have nothing to fear. I may float, but I'm nothing like those nighttime spookers. I don't know if you can say spookers. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and it barely fits. If you're ever in need of anything, just come on by. What's up your sleeves, ghost slurs? People always expect me to have something up my sleeves. Here's what I'm looking for. Ten lop hops. He's a spooky boy in a cemetery. When you run out of nicknames for people. Uh, you've got big sleeves. Imagine the most interesting thing about you that people take your nickname from is how big your sleeves are. Oh. Time to find a personality. Oh, this is our friend, Red Shoes. Oh. <laughs> she said nothing else about her other than her shoes? No, just call her Red Shoes. Oh, have I gone the wrong way? Need to get up there, and I am but a small, bouncy boy. Maybe my car can get up there. Yes, of course it can. Mm -mm -mm. Here's our friend Tash. He has a moustache. Do you have a nickname? What is it? How did you get it? Let me know in a comment. I would love to hear nicknames. What nicknames you have. <laughs> Initializing. I'm Gizmo. I invent stuff, and it works all the time, and I understand how it works. Continue. It's curious to see you little thing suddenly running around. You're not the weirdest thing I've seen, though. Continue. This island is my muse. It seems to conjure some incredulous things, and nature can't patent, so it's ripe for inspiration. Query. I might ask you to help me test out my inventions from time to time, especially the delivery network. Prompt. Tell me your purpose today. Recording. I'm in need of specimens to inspire new inventions. Response accepted. I like that one. I like the way that's written. Ah, some more flop figs. Gotcha. So, can I buy things from you? Ah, okay. Conveyors, chests, trampoline. Tramamampoline. Um, cool. Was that. Did I visit everyone? I feel like I did. Where did my car go? Where did I jump out? Little car. Little car. Where are you? Where did you go? Is it on my mini map? I think it is. Is it pointing me towards it here? Did it fall off? <laughs> is, there, is there a map that I can look at? Uh, where'd my car go? I feel like it rolled away. Can you see it? Am I being blind? Oh, there's a bouncy lily pads. But it's not here, right? So it must have gone off the side. Let's see. 
Don't need a car, I am a car. Can we get up? Oh, I can get up like this too. You can do it. Go on, little buddy. Uh, where did it roll to? Oh. Oh. <laughs> How many of you actually spotted that whilst I was running around and trying to find it? Be honest. Oh no. How do I... How do I get it? I can't get it. Wait, maybe I can dive or something? Well, that's... Oh, hang on. That's worked. Oh, almost. Just gotta time it. Oh, just spam it. There you go. Big jump. Bigger than that. Oh, it's not letting me do it. I guess if you get it stuck, you have to go back and get it yourself, maybe. What are these? They look fiery. Hmm? Does this... Oh! Nothing. Guess they're safe. It's called a cinder loop. Or a cinder lupe, if you want to be fancy. It would be like, the original French is Cinderlupe, and the American- Oh, I'm on fire, and Americans just call it Cinderlupe. Like, niche. Niche. Eh. There we go. There's a chest over there. Let's see what we've got. Spank. What is this? Oh, seeds for the lupes. What's this thing over here? Let's explore. Yeah, get up. Looks like a little shrine or something. Hmm. I wonder if this does anything. What if I like... Thinking about throwing those things that I picked up at it. I don't know how to change to the rest of my inventory though. Wait, PlayStation's ah, there we go. Maybe I can like I mean it looks like the incense is already burning, but you never know. No. It's worth a try though, wasn't it? As most things are. Give them a go. What do we have here? A squish squash. <laughs> Adorable. Eh, yeah, squish squash. I want a squish squash. This one's a different color. A shiny squish squash. So we can get like rare crops, I guess. a couple for nature. Wow, it's actually quite a big map, isn't it? I think that's my home back there, right? Towards the tower, I think that's where we came from, through this mushroom bit. Whatever this thing is. What's this big tree? Did I go here? Let's go find out. Honestly, this might be easier than a car. I wonder if the car has extra storage or something. Because I feel like I'm going even faster. Wait, what's that? Day three. It's a strange place. The weird monolith, all of it. It's my third day on the island. Living here is an acquired taste. Keeping track of time is tough. I haven't lost my mind, but I've written day three. Every atom I own says it feels longer, or maybe shorter. Something's very wrong here. Deja vu ad nauseum. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can I get up to the big tree when I take a look and see what is up on top of this hill? Not this way. Big old roots. Roots, bloody roots. Wah, wow, big bees! If it's not a bear living up here, I'd be very surprised. Somewhat. Oh, 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 they're stinging my bum! <laughs> That's so cute! Can't get close to the bees! Maybe we have to make like a um, beekeeper outfit or something. What do we have here? Propellers. I wonder if these lift you up. I feel like they could, right? They seem to be working like a... Uh... Like that's keeping me in the air for longer, I think, if I put it in my bag. Yeah, I'm jumping higher with it. A whirly gig. I like how the tree's like decorated. So lots of bees here, and you probably gotta work out a way to like get the honey or something. Can you grab these ones? <laughs> so I wonder if I jump off of here with this in my hand if I go further. see what that tower is if I go a little bit little bit no. so I've got a quest to well sh a challenge I should say to build a uh, hundred structures ship a hundred items and harvest <clears throat> excuse me harvest 250 crops but I think that is just um Kind of like for the demo, like a little challenge to give you something to keep going rather than a mission to advance anything, as it's an early look. What are these? Giant feathers. Day 17. Unusual doesn't cut half of it. No one I've spoken to is even aware of the problem. Day after day, we just move around the island, making our way. Even the inventor I met seems lost in their own mind. Am I lost too? Ruminating further won't help. I need to act. What you got? An opal. And there's hatched eggs here. Is this a bird's nest? Is this where chickens are born? It is. And there's some giant eggs in here. Oh. Cinderloop seeds. Frostum seeds. Zumpkin seeds. Hmm. I can't jump off? Oh, I can. <laughs> oh, wait. There's still a light there. Let's go. to the beam, illuminated in a starry, starry night. Being under the stars is healing. Been a while since I looked up and just saw them. Not outside as much these days. Should make time for it though. Okay, so that's where I came from. And we're gonna go to this. I wonder if I can, if you can reset the car. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna stay on my feet. It's not as impressive when you're sort of near or in a city, anyway. 
but um you know always good to look up every now and then take a minute realize how infinite everything is how small our part is in it not to make ourselves feel any smaller but I always say it makes your problems feel smaller if anything's bothering you Sometimes just go out, stare up at the stars, and remember that it's all just infinite and still going and huge and all just part of the same thing. Is that a golden chicken? Oh no, it's an electric chicken. So we have different like elements going on too. Stand up, please, thank you. Ah. Let me add it. Flop fig seeds. Well, I need ten flop figs. So maybe I'll just plant the tree and wait for them to come up. Going for a walk always helps as well. Big walker now. I've always liked walking and I fell off from doing it. And then I've started again. And just always makes me feel better. Even if you're not feeling bad, just a walk will make everything easier. I don't know how to deal with these. Am I supposed to throw something at them? Seems like it might be easier to just let them have their way with me. Let it pass and get up. <clears throat> Hello there, I'm Young Forge. Uh, people around here know me as the blacksmith. I wear a torch, I ignite the forge if you catch my drift. Well, though you shouldn't try, my drift will burn your hands. Burn them out. What's got you all fired up? I like new crops and see which ones burned. Best. Ah, sick. Can't wait to burn stuff. You want ten squapples? Oh, it's like... The tower shoots... That out every so often. Oh, that's the end of the day thing that regrows stuff. I'm with you. At midnight, I guess. So every midnight that happens. I'm going to assume... We met everyone. So if I go... How do I see, like, my missions, quests? There we go. Introductions. Like, is this not done then? Big Sleeves, Gizmo, Matriel. We met all of those. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Chicky, chicky, chicky. What you got? An iron ingot. Well, let's get back to what we'll consider our home base. I'm assuming you can just build anywhere, so if you wanted to, can I just build here? I can. So you could be like, oh, I don't live with gramps in that barn, I'm just gonna build out here. Do what you want on this island. It's your life. Um, oh, I meant to look down here, sure. Topaz. You know, like how people use gems for names, like, you know, some people are called Ruby, Amber. Is there, a, is there Topaz? And then like, there must be some gems that are quite cheap. Like what if you call your kid after a cheap gem? My name's Zirconia. What's glowing up here? I think it's Zirconia, actually. I mean, it sounds like a place, actually. It sounds like where a superhero is from. 
I am Cubic of Zirconia. How are we gonna climb? Looks like I have to hop over these things to get here. Maybe I use one of those whirly gigs I could get there. Hmm. Let me try it from here, actually. Maybe it's possible. Ah, you go pretty high. We might be able to get up there. Oh, that was close. If we could stop the stuttering, that would help. Ah! Keep slowing down. Yes! Oh! Ah! Okay. And then from here, where can I, which one can I get to? Oh. No. <laughs> Maybe go back on ourselves a little bit here. It's difficult. Do you know what? I don't care. All right? I don't care enough. I'm leaving. I can have you glowy. I just, I feel peaceful playing this. I hope you feel peaceful watching it. Love a little peaceful video. Hit subscribe for more of them if you want. I think... This way. I'm gonna trust my intuition. So, I mean, I have a, um, one of those trees for the flop figs, where is it? Where is the flop fig tree that I looted? Flop fig seeds, ah. Uh. to hoe the ground for the tree too. Zumpkins and Cinderloop and Frostums, oh my. Ah, okay, so these are like take up a whole patch, actually. Um Can't just go on there. What's what you got here? A boinger. Some bees still so still sting me. Right, let's put one here. Boink, boink. Ah, these are just a row. Okay, well, we'll put the bush. Nope. Put the cinder loop there. We also need 
Oh, so it needs that much space, but it only goes in that middle spot. So you could, if I put another two there, then that can also be there, I think. Let me try. Oh, it's raining, so I don't have to water it. Great. So then if this one goes... So that there's one in that spot, and then... Okay, it just needs space. There we go. And now we just want... A line. Ah, and because it's those are only there, then this can just actually go at the back too. Right, so if I had a couple of those, then I'd be able to have a line of trellis there. I think that's all the seeds I collected. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. I have lupias. Or loopies. Oh, maybe it's loopy, actually. Ah, nice. That looks much better. Look at my little garden. Lovely. Do a little bit of watering, just to feel like I'm doing it. Woo! I wonder if we can recycle this somehow. Beating up old tractor. Well, you shall have your uh, flop figs soon enough. So we harvest these. And put them in here. Now, do you sell seeds, I wonder? <laughs> Gonna spank Grandpa. Stay wibbly. Hmm. How are the fields? You have a shop too, so you sell all kinds of seeds. And today's special offer is Sizoop seeds. Fertilizer. Ah, okay. So if I want to buy a bag of strawberries, how do I do that? Was I doing it and I wasn't getting an... I think I was and I just spent all my money. I was hoping that they were... Uh, not a bush, but... It just takes up so much space. Straw blows. I guess we wait for them to grow. wonder if you can get animals you could build a barn, put the chickens in it, maybe we'll get eggs. Oh, they're already growing, look. I wonder if some of these you have to build structures to get to. Because look at that, how are you going to get there? Maybe that's the secret. A tonkle. <laughs> and it plays music. How funny. I can shake it. What if I throw it? That's very cute. That's very, very cute. I like that. Nice. Oh, you get new goodies every day? Or is this just giving me the same stuff? Seed maker, a sawmill, furnace. Okay. I mean, we should visit this tower, right? We, we should see what this is all about. It's got to be some sort of clue to everything. Save the sort of long-term farming for when the game's actually out. Imagine if everyone went around the world like this. Like, this is how people got to work. People went out their front door, rolled up into a ball, and just... I mean, accidents would be a lot funnier. People just bumping into each other. Sorry! Wow. Let's see what this... 
this mysterious tower is all about. If we can get up there. Oh. Everything's gone a bit purple. And there's all sorts of bubbles in the air. I mean, that looks great, doesn't it? It's a cave. It's just now we're like right underneath it, aren't we? Gold chest. Cinderloop seeds. Gold ingot. Shiny fertilizer level 5. Hmm, I'm surprised there isn't a lore page or something here. Does it get louder as I go more into it? I think. Or was it just coincidence? Mysterious. I don't see anything here. Ah, oh, look, you can climb up. These are like platforms. There's a chest at the top of that one. how the vibe's all mysterious there. And how the light changed. Well. And that's how your adventure begins. In Southfield. A little quick look at everything. I like this a lot. I like the vibe. Um, go check out the demo if you want to get a bit more into it yourself and just enjoy the vibes and do the farming. This is my first look. If you enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe to come back for more. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. I wish I could wave. I'll just give you a little spank instead. You're welcome. <laughs>